welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. And we've had a, a flurry of really beautiful but slightly easier puzzles um, the last three days. Um, I am assured that today's puzzle uh, ramps up the difficulty again. <laughs> it's called Icing Disaster and it's by Doom Diot. Um, and I've done a Doom Diot puzzle before. I want to say that that was a Fog of War puzzle. I think, I think it was, and it was absolutely marvellous. But if I do remember it, it was quite tricky. I've read the rules to this one. It's completely original, although, although it, it combines two sets of rules that we have seen before. So it combines X sums rules with region sum lines rules, but in a way that I've never seen done. And, um, yeah, it, it looks interesting to say the least. It's got four stars out of five for difficulty on Logic Masters Germany and a 100% uh, approval rating. So it ought to be very good. It's been recommended to us a couple of times as well. So I know this is going to be uh, a good puzzle. If I can solve it, it is meant to be hard. Um, and uh, bizarrely, I don't have much news for you today. Let me just think. I know uh, I don't have any birthdays. I don't have any engagements to announce or weddings, wedding days to announce today. Um, just a reminder, I suppose, if you are um, uh, if you're a patron of the channel, do make sure you have a go at our new Sudoku hunt, Cracking the Cryptic. It is tentacular and uh, uh, oceanographic and extremely, uh, extremely cool. And we're getting lots of new entrants from patrons who haven't managed to solve any of the hunts before. So it's definitely more approachable than some of our hunts. Um, and, and that's, uh, well, it's, it's been actually lovely to get feedback from people who haven't managed to do a hunt before and are really thrilled with managing to do that one. Um, and I don't think there's any other news. Um, so why don't we just kick straight into the rules? This makes for a short intro today. Um, and uh, I will read you what we have to do to solve Icing Disaster by Doomed Yacht. Uh, the rules are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we've got to put the numbers one to nine in each row, in each column, and in each three by three box once each. Uh, then these blue lines are region sum lines. Now digits on a blue line must have an equal sum within each three by three region the line passes through, regardless of how many times the line exits and re-enters a region. The area outside the grid is considered one region for the purposes of this rule and different lines may have different sums. So let's see if we can find uh, a simple line to think about. So I think one thing we can think about is to look at this line. Now, how much time does this line spend in this three by three box? And the answer is it spends one cell of time. So this digit would have to have the same sum as these two cells because the line has the same sum within each three by three box it enters. Now this is going to get complicated by these lines that are dipping in and out of the grid. So let's see if we can understand how this works. So let's have a look at the line that's this line here. Now the area outside the grid is considered one region and an equal sum regardless of how many times the line exits and re-enters the region. So I think what we have to do here is to sum those five cells and they will have the same sum as these two cells is I think how that works, which is an absolutely bizarre constraint. But this, this comes into the X sums rules that we're going to come on to. The next part of the rule says X sums. Numbers outside the grid give the sum of the first N digits in their respective row or column, where N is the, is the digit nearest the clue inside the grid. So let's pick this cell and see if we can understand what that means. So if this square was a, and the thing is, mm, this is, it's quite good actually. I've just realized, I should have realized this immediately because it's unusual. I can actually click on the cells outside the grid and and I can put numbers into them, but I was just thinking that this doesn't have to be a Sudoku digit, does it? This could be a large number. I don't have a way of displaying that. I'd have to sort of improvise. I can, I can do improvising by doing things like this. Um, so that would be a sum of 10. So if, the, if this was a 10, then from an X sums perspective, ignore the blue line for a moment. From an X sums perspective, it's saying that we look at this digit, which is the first digit in this column, the nearest digit, if you like, to the clue. Let's say that was a three. 
then that would be saying that the first three cells in this column, so those three cells, sum up to 10. Now, if this was a four, it would be saying the first four cells in this column sum up to 10. If it was a two, it would be saying the first two cells in the column sum up to 10. But, but then we're going to have to overlay upon that the region sum lines, which is already doing my head in a bit. Um, ah, and hang on, there's a lot more rules as well. Well, it says, to be clear, this puzzle uses the old region sum lines rules, which affects how the lines work in boxes one and seven specifically. I don't think I read this <laughs> when I read the rules before I turned on the turned on the webcam. Um, the following statements describe how these lines must be interpreted. Rows, columns zero and ten indicate cells outside the nine by nine grid. Ah, box one. So it's going to it's going to confirm whether or not I explain this rule correctly row zero column one that must be that cell plus row one column zero yeah no this is exactly what i said it was basically that equals those now let's see how it works down here in box seven or let's know i tell you what we should do we should see if we can guess how it works and then see if if the example confirms it so the way i think it would work is that these two cells are outside the grid so they're considered to be in the same region so these two added together would have the same sum as those those four digits i think now that the example in the instruction says row eight column zero that's that cell plus row t row 10 column three that is that cell yeah and it's equal to the line so yes we have understood i think we have understood and that is all of the rules so do have a go the way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. We get given digits today. How exciting. Um, and now I get to play. Let's get cracking or let's get cracking. Um, I'm, I'm going to come actually going to come back here because I was, as I was doing the example, I was thinking about this. Yeah, there's a there's an interaction, isn't there, between the X sum right so is it true to say that is not a two i'm going to claim it is true to say that yeah and the the reason i think that must be true is that that's saying that we um from an x sum perspective whatever let's imagine this was 10 as we said before if this is 10 and this is 2 this is an 8 to make it add up but if this is 10, this is in the region that's outside the grid. So we know this line adds, adds up to 10 in every three by three box or outside the grid region it enters. So it must add up to 10 inside box three. And that would mean this has to be an eight, which it cannot be. So, I mean, it's the most minor deduction. But I don't think this can be a two. Now, OK, so if it's three, then the X sum is summing these two cells. The region sum, which must sum to the same number, is summing those two cells. And this is always a common digit. So what we're sort of learning here is that this cell sums up to whatever this number is, if this was three, this digit would sum to those two. If this is four, this digit would sum to those three. And if this is right, so, so that's, but that is very interesting. <laughs> yes, I know, never speak to me at parties. We've had this conversation al already, but that is very interesting to me because that means, because this has to be, uh, obviously this cannot be a 10, for example. So the maximum number of cells down this column that this can represent is three. So if this X sums clue was five, I'm gonna claim that this, this is impossible to fulfill because that would be saying that we, the X sum is summing these five digits, but, but we know that the X sum, which is those five digits, has the same sum as those two cells, which requires this cell, this cell here, to have the same sum as these four cells by mathematical equations and 
these four digits would add up to a minimum of 10. Even if we made them minimal, they would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I can't write 10 into that square. So all of this means, and this is the most minor deduction, but I'm going to take it. This digit is 3 or 4 only. It cannot be 5 or higher, and it cannot be 2. It clearly cannot be 1, because that would be saying the x sum clue uh, was equal to 1. It was just this digit whereas the region sum line is adding those two digits up. So that's not going to work. Right, so that's three or four. And that is truly weird, because actually, if I was starting this puzzle without having talked through an example, I would never have looked at this line first. Right, I've seen something else. That's, that's a classic sort of arrow bulb or arrow circle, isn't it? Because what we're, what we're learning from this is that this digit has the same sum as those three digits. And those three digits must add up to at least six if they were one, two, and three. So that digit is at least six. That digit. Well, hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is right now. <laughs> this line, this line has a sort of a longer geometry than this line. But isn't the point exactly the same? If we just consider, if we imagine this line was curtailed and it was just those three cells. And I know that's not really a cell, but you know what I mean. Wouldn't it be exactly the same as that? And if that's the case, if that's a two, yeah, no, it would. It would. It's the same logic again. So that's three or four. By the, by the mysterious logic that we got for this one. And, well, uh, I have been incredibly lucky here, you know. I have been incredibly lucky because I think this is actually important. And I literally, I've, I've lucked out by looking at this line first. This doesn't normally happen in videos. Um, and frankly, if I hadn't done this example, I think I would have looked at this first because this, this looks like the sort of shape that a constructor would discover something about. It looks totally deliberate, this. The rest of this looks like a higgled, it looks like a sort of a spider's web after somebody has walked through it. You know, it's tattered. It, it has no symmetry to it. That one sort of does. Um, but I think, I think this digit can't be a four, but I might be wrong. I'm going to think about this quite carefully. If that's a four, let's get rid of the colours here because I, I want to. I want, actually want to colour this. Though those digits would be the x sum clue. Now, and we also know that whatever this number is, let's say it's ten again. I don't think it can be ten. Let's say it's fifteen. If this is fifteen. These four cells add to 15, and those two cells add, and that's a silly choice, isn't it? Let's make this 12. If this is 12, these two cells add up to 12, because they're the only two instances of the line in box 9, and these four cells add up to 12. But that means that this digit is the sum of these three cells. But this digit's really high now, so there's no way... If this is 4, there's no way this could be 9 or 8 or 7, is there? Because if at the minimum I could add to 7, for example, be 1 and 2, and that would make this a 10. So this has to be 6. And the only way this can be a single digit total, and this, it's beautiful, is that this the only way this can be a single digit total, because it's summing those three digits, is if this is 6, 1, 2. And if this is 6, 1, 2, wow. Ah, how can I make that these three digits add up to six now? I've lost the I've lost the crucial a crucial component of a six line. A six line must be a one, two, three, triple, and that's gonna break that cell. That is weird. That is weird and unexpected and rather rather lovely for me, because that means this digit is a three. And that means this digit, whatever that digit is, is summing is, is summing to the same as those two digits which is probably a lot less interesting. Uh, 
Um, sorry, and I know I'm, I know I'm just corpsing here. I need to think about this. So this digit. Oh well, because this is a three, that can't be a six now. Because if that was a six, it would need one, two, three on its line, and it can't have it. So this is either one, two, four. If this is seven, if it's eight, it's one, two, five, because it can't be one, three, four. And if it's nine, it can't have a three on it. So it's not two, three, four, and it's not one, three, five. So it would be one, two, six. So there's always a one on this line. There we go. As another tiny deduction. If this, if this is a 7, the 4 has to be here, and this would be a 1-2 pair. If this isn't... No, it's less powerful if it's 8 or 9. Right, okay. So one thing I have learnt from doing this and this is that we must not... Yeah, maybe it's this sort of source or hooky shape I'm meant to look at. As I, I, what I'm realising is that actually where like this looks more complicated to me, <laughs> I suppose. What we're looking to do is a situation where the X sum digit is also part of the region sum total. I think. Um, although I have to say I'm quite tempted to think about that digit now. Well, what on earth is this digit? Um, we know that we're adding, so this number sums to the same as four digits in box two. So it's at least a 10, because the triangular number for four is, is 10, one plus two plus three plus four. This is at least a 10. But this digit, this digit is telling us from an X sums perspective, which is giving, which is still this number, because this number is basically an X sum and a region sum line clue. Yeah. Yeah, um, so if this was, yeah, I mean, how can this be a really small number? I don't understand how that can ever work. Like if this was a three, we're saying this is a zero, aren't we? Because the X sum is, ne is then summing those three cells. And that's going to give this number. But the region sum line is meant to also give this number. So this can't be, yeah, this can't be a low number. This is quite a big number because we're going to have to get outside the box. Yes. All right. So imagine that was a four. I can there, there some reason I can see that more clearly. If that's a four, that's saying those two digits are the same because effectively we're comparing the sum of this line with the sum of this column and we should get the same total. So if this is not four, let's say it's five, then we're saying this line adds up to those two digits. If it's six, this line, this cell adds up to those three digits, etc. So, ah, right. So what we actually now know is because this is summing some total down here, if this was a seven, this would be adding those four digits and this would be the same problem we've already identified so this is not a seven but it is at least a four so that's a four five or a six right but here is quite an interesting point This is not a five and it's not a five for nothing to do with its own line, but because of this line, if this was five, we'd have to shade this cell in. So the X sum is summing these five digits, but we know this digit, let's make it green, is the sum of those two digits. But by the, by the logic of this line, this digit is also the sum of those two digits. So that would be green. 
and they get two greens in row three. That is quite ridiculous, but absolutely beautiful. And and a little bit. Uh, ah, ah, hang on, I want to leave my yellow in. Uh, I want to I want to get rid of the digit in there and get rid of five. This is four or six. So if this is four. This is now six. And if this is six, we know this digit would be adding to those three digits. And this oh, and that this could this digit couldn't be a nine either. So it would have to be six, seven, or eight. No, but if that's a six, it would have to be seven or eight. This would be incredibly powerful. And we know that this is not. Um, well, we know that the it's either either these two digits are the same. So this would be green and green. Actually, let's not make this green because I've made this green. Let's make this red. Um, either this is four. This is double red, and red lives down here by Sudoku, or this is six. And this sums to those three digits. And then red would live down there by Sudoku because it couldn't be on its own sum. This is fascinating, isn't it? It, it? it really does totally reset the logic of these region sum lines. They don't work in any way like you, you think they should. I am a bit terrified of this line now because this line looks by far the most complicated. I think I might look at this line actually. What can we say about this line? Because this line... So what's going on here? This cell is not only the sum of however long the X sum is, it's the sum of those three digits. And now these these are likely to be common to the X sum unless this is a very tiny number. If that's a two, no, no, that's there's no way this can be a two. Because then we'd be saying those two digits are equal to this by the X sum, but we'd also be saying that from a region sum line, these three digits are equal to this. So that would require this to be zero. So this is at least a three. No, 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 it's not. Well, it, it is at least a three, but it's not a three. If that was a three, again, we're comparing that total with that total. So these have to be a common digit because the sum must be the same. These two digits are in both sums. So it's not a three. This is now at least a four. It's not a, it's not a five. So this is, I'm going to do full pencil marking here. This is four, six, seven, or eight. But can we, it can't be eight. I'm not sure it can be even be, maybe it could be six. I'm not sure this isn't just four though. Let me explain why. Imagine this is six or higher. Let's just put six in for the sake of argument. Then the X sum is summing those six cells which I shall make grey. Now, therefore, this digit is, is, is the sum, it's adding up to at least 20, or it's adding up to a lot. But the crucial point here is that this digit, which is the sum of these six grey numbers, is also just the sum of those three numbers. And that would require this to be the sum of those four numbers, one of which is a nine. And that's absolutely, it's utterly, utterly broken. And if this is seven or eight, we're just adding gray things on, which have to also be included in the sum of this digit, which cannot work. So this is a four. This is a four. And we're adding. Right, so now we're learning that this digit is the oh, this is so complicated. This digit is the sum of those two digits. I'm tempted almost to do something really weird and go, I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to try. I could make a little arrow like that. I mean, that is, I think, what we're saying, isn't it? We're saying these two cells add up to that one. I'm going to do that. That, that, that. that will help me to remember it, I'm sure, even though it looks absolutely bizarre. Um, right, now, but do we know something about this digit now? Oh, this is complicated. Um, so we know these two digits. 
these two digits are adding up to the same as these three digits. But I know that digit includes the sum of the, that. This digit here is the sum of these two digits. So these two digits. I feel like this is saying that that digit is the same sum as those three digits. Is that true? Yes, it is true. That's that. Okay. Yeah, it's very. You have to pick the right the right relationship to focus on. The easiest way to see this is to think purely about the, how the x sum, the gray cells, compare with with this domino. Because because the x sum, which is all the gray cells, have to sum to the same as this domino. And this domino has has one of the gray cells in it, so that cell is the same as this uh, these three cells, and therefore this cell is at least a seven. So it is seven or eight, depending on what these two digits are. Um, and in fact, one of these digits is a one, because if this was a two three pair, this would uh, this would be a nine, and it can't be. So these squares are from one two and three, and this square has to, and this domino here has to have a one in it. Now, what does that mean now for this one on our on our pink line? Well, this digit is not low. That's what we can say now. Imagine that digit was low. If that was a one, two or a three, what's this digit now? Well, the, the answer is this digit has to be It can't, it can't work. It's got to be too low. Because if this is a 1, 2 pair, and this is a 3, that will be a 3. And that doesn't, that, there's two 3s in the box. And if this is any higher than 3, it was going to be 4 or 5. And it can't be those. That's weird. Okay, so this is not low. This is at least, and it's not 4, so it's at least 5. So that's 5, 6, 7, or 8. And we know that this digit is the sum of these two digits. So it's at least a 6. 6, 7, 8 or 9. Hmm. Don't know if I like that or not. This is 9. This is 9. This is 9, 13, 14, and then so you can get there quite easily actually. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. How can we actually get any more refinement to this total done? I, I, I have a horrible feeling this is totally obvious and there's, there's actually a way of resolving this now. That's that's what my gut instinct is telling me. Four is in a domino by Sudoku in box five using these two fours we've found. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing how to do this. I, uh, there's something nagging me about how, how I need to think about this sort of various equations that are going on. That is the sum of these two. This is the sum of these three. Mm, don't know. Okay, let's try something else. We could look at... Am I going to have to do it? Am I? Am I going to have to look at this one? It would be ironic if this was where I was meant to start the puzzle and this sort of resolved everything. But I don't think it will. I mean, what we can say, and this is a very obvious point if you're used to sort of arrow logic, is that those five digits add up to at least 15 because they're five different Sudoku digits and the triangular number for five is 15. And that means that these two cells add up to at least 15. But 
the thought I had earlier, because I noticed this earlier, is that that doesn't really help me. Because because these can be double digit numbers. I mean, I mean, these could be 35 as a maximum. It could be 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 in some order. So the, these would be sharing 35's worth of digits. Now, this cell is the X sum And that's in both totals. So whatever these add up to. Um, hang on, let me think about this. What, what actually are we saying here? This can't be all. This, these two. Yeah, okay. So we know these add up to 15. Or more. Uh, so what is this number? Well, this number is not one. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I'm struggling to see why it can't be two. If it's two, what are we saying? We're saying that the X sum is summing those two cells. I'm running out of colours here and those two cells. But this is counted twice because it's it's in both X sums. But we're saying that the region sum line the region sum line is is those five digits. And that should have the same sum as these two cells, which are in the region sum line, so we could delete those. And what we're, the, what we're then saying is that those three digits have to add up to this doubled. Well, that, that cannot work. God, that's really confusing though, isn't it? So, okay, I hope that was clear. What I'm sort of doing is I'm playing with the equations in this box. Um, so what we can say is that the, if this is a two, from a sort of purely arithmetic perspective, these two numbers are the sum of those two and plus the sum of those two. But from a purely arith arithmetic perspective, we know the sum of those two is also the sum of those five. So you'll notice those two are in both sides, both versions of the equation. And what you end up is with that double that, which would be four, has to equal those three digits, which, which actually would have a minimum sum of eight with one, three, four. So this is not two. Now, if this is three, oh, well, <laughs> that's not an, uh, no, that is not an earned three in the corner, so we're not having that. If this is three, then we're saying those three, this is getting very interesting now. That would make this a six. Because if this is, if we do have a three in the corner, then again, from an equation perspective, that's in both sums, that's in both the X sums, isn't it? So those three plus those three, so this is included twice, is the same as this plus this plus this. Those are all common. So that digit is equal to double that digit, basically, and that would be a six. And that actually would be... Well, no, the, the interesting thing about that was a three in the corner would do that and that, which would be massive. Right. Oh, and it can't be four, you know. So if it's five, maybe five doesn't work. Maybe five causes this to have to be ten. Is that true? No, no, it's not true at all. It's got nothing to do with it. This, they, they, they lose their equivalence, actually, the bigger this gets. So if this is five, what do we then have? We've got, let's use blue. So then we'd be adding those and those. That's not a that's not a sensible choice of colour, is it? Let's go with um I don't know what to go with actually. I can go with orange again. If this is if this is five, which is the after after this is three, that's the next thing it could be. If this is five, the X sum is summing this and this, but the region sum is summing this and this so we'd be right so those would be common and we'd be saying that digit 
no, 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 no. It's total and utter nonsense. This digit is the sum of this doubled, well, that's already 10, plus those, plus those. This is absolutely broken. This is the right. This is the breaking. This is totally and utterly forced. I'm so sorry. How long is that? It's 35 minutes. I should have started here. This, And I would have started here if I hadn't done this silly example at the top of the grid. So although I thought I'd been lucky, I haven't been lucky at all. This, this is absolutely forced to be a three. And if that's a three, that's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight, proving its position. Um, this is a three and this is a six because we know that this had to equal double this had to equal this digit but that means you know what i have a feeling that means nothing that is literally the end of this line this, that is the end of the logic we get from this line because whatever these add up to the, yeah the, the, it, it is it's weird it's weird we don't i don't because i'm never going to know what these are and until i fill in the line i can't extract any more logic from this box it's done which is really strange, but I can do Sudoku. That's three, so that's four, so that's six. Now, what did all of that mean? That means this X sum, right, that means this digit, uh, I'm gonna have to start, sort of start using equivalent thingies here, but that is the sum of those three. So that digit is at least a six. So it's a six, seven, eight, or nine. Now, Does it have to include a one is my question because they can't include a four. So if this was nine, this couldn't be two, three, four. So it would be one, two, six or one, three, five. Yes, it does. There is definitely a one in the blue cells. Now there's a one down here. I don't know. Um, not sure. Six is it Sudoku on sixes? Six has to be in one of those three positions. And I haven't thought about this one yet. I am going to come back to that. Oh, I'm going to just check this one. If that was six, this would be a one, two, three triple. And that doesn't feel possible, does it? That would be putting so much pressure on. Oh, there's a one here. I've just noticed I've got a one pencil mark in that cell. So that's not there. I c so when I said, when I said there was a one here, it's because I couldn't see that this was here. But it was true to say that there was a one in a domino there. It's just, uh, it, well, it sort of, it, it was sort of a false premise at that point because I hadn't seen the one one pencil mark down here. So the six, right, the six here, right, what have I got sh shaded in here? I've got, well, the six is telling me I've got to add all those numbers up. So the red number is equal to those three. So I'm going to change my shading here, I think. I'm going to make those have to add up. So these three digits add up to this number, which is now a seven or an eight, because we know it's at least it's at least six and it can't be six and it can't be nine so that's seven or eight there is definitely a one along this string of digits we know the one is not here because there's a one in one of those two cells so if this was seven this would have to go four it would have to be a very specific layout if that's seven you have to put the four here by sudoku this can't be one, so that has to be two, and that has to be one. If this is eight, then what? And it might be more complicated. If it's if it's one, three, four, this is still four, this is still this is three, and this is one. But if it's one, two, five, what happens? Then this couldn't be a five. This couldn't be a one. So this could be two or five. This could be two or one. And this could be one, two or five, I think. That's so distressing because that, that was nearly forced a moment ago, but now it's just not. Oh, 
and literally getting a six here it's so peculiar I mean literally you don't care I don't care what this number is anymore because it, it can't help me solve the puzzle well it, I mean it would help me solve the puzzle. that's not quite true but but it I sort of extracted the geometric properties of the line already now and I'm not going to get anything else other than from our old friend our fair weather friend Sudoku oh I suppose now hang on hang on hang on that digit right right if that was seven then we worked out this had to go four two didn't we so that would be a oh, no oh that's ridiculous is that right ah okay so this is this line is crucial I'm just going to check this if that's seven this line has to go four that can't be one four two and that's a six and that doesn't work it clashes so that doesn't that's not right so this is eight so this is eight but that mm, that means I can't reduce this at all in terms of options except I do know that this isn't well this isn't four and two or five and one so if that's five this would have to be two this would have to be seven I'm not sure what all the options are for this digit now if this is eight if this is eight and it's one three four then we know this is three and we know this is four so that would put seven here for sure but if this is one two five this would be one or two and this would be two or five so if this is if this is two this is one and that's three um this was two or five wasn't it so this was five can we come up with any other combinations is this just three or five I, I feel that that's I'm not sure this is eight that cannot be four well no it can be four but it could be one three four and if it's one three four I know this is four I know this is three that gives me seven if this is a one two five triple this is one or two and this is two or five so if that's two that has to be five and that has to be seven if this is one this could be two and give three or it could be five and gives no it can't give six because that will that will break here i think this might only be able to be three or seven But it is a bit it's a bit it's a bit tricky to, to and it doesn't seem to do anything either does it it doesn't seem to be running into any problems being those things so what on earth am I meant to do with this <laughs> um, ah that's not seven look if this is seven I need to make this a one two four triple and the four at the top rules that out good grief so this is now eight or nine but it's not got four on it and it's not got three on it so it's either one two five explicitly or it's one two six explicitly it's one of those two things it has got one and two on it and we know this isn't one it's got one and two on it so we need to label that up I mean that that feels important doesn't it at least it does to me four by sudoku is in one of two places in box nine now how are these lines interacting <laughs> um do we get anything I mean this line down here is just horrible one two three four four region sum lines so these add up to at least ten this digit 
is an X sum that digit is an X sum that's included in part of the the sum for this one uh, but that's also got to be in the sum if you're including the X sum this this thing feels absolute it just feels weird I mean Can I get th three? Mm, I bet I bet this is going to be a three. This will be a one, two pair. Then that'll be a five. That will stop this being a five. That'll push this up. There's there's all these little interactions. This I can see has some in interpret well, some interplay with this in the sense that I mean imagine this was a three. Then it's adding those three. So we're saying those three are the same as these two. But that's, mm, I mean, unless this turned out to be an enormous digit, that's going to be fairly balanced, isn't it? So maybe it's this line again. I don't like the feel of this line because this line feels, um, well, the fact these are in different different rows although that is a big digit oh oh right actually I'm going to think about that I had a, I've had another thought if that's how could this be a nine <laughs> if it's a nine this X sum clue is 45 but the, but yeah ah ah right sorry so although I in my brain I thought this 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 clue was not important it might be important because we're adding only four digits up here so the maximum these could be would be six seven eight nine which is 30 Oh, I've got a feeling I might be called upon soon to read the butterfly lion, but I'll carry on until it's imperative that I stop. Um, I wasn't sure how long this would take me. Um, right, hang on. I just had a good thought then. I was thinking, yeah, th th these can add up to a maximum of 30. So this can't be a 9 because this would be at least a 45 clue. In fact... It can't be an eight either, can it? Because the X sum would add up to at least, if this was if this was eight, and we max that out, this would still add up to 36, which is more than I can make these add up to. And I haven't even included this one. If this is seven, the minimum I can make this is add up to is 28. And that might work. And that might be possible then, if this was a very small number. But hang on, but if this is six or seven, this is this is important. Ah, this is beautiful. It's beautiful because that being a six or a seven means that these the sum of these digits now is either one, two, three or one, two, four. And it can't be seven. Ah, oh, can't be seven because that would be one, two, four and that would clash here. So this is six. This is a one, two, three triple out of absolutely nowhere. And now that digit is not a two and that means because we worked out there's a one and a two on this line this is a one two pair this is phenomenal doom jot phenomenal now if that's one two um look at this column now all of these other digits are massive well there are at least five five six seven <laughs> six seven eight or nine that's not nine this that's not nine because because purple is the sum of those two so that's not nine it might be able to be eight if that's five that doesn't work because this is adding up to at least six so this is at least six so these are adding up to at least nine so these are adding up to it ah, but that doesn't do anything these are adding up to at least nine and if that's one that could be eight and we don't we don't get any relief from that um ah but now now what's going on here because that digit is not particularly high so the maximum sum of this line now in box six is three here plus seven eight nine which is 27 
So the maximum sum of the two oranges is 27. But this is a 6, so it's adding all those together. And therefore, is at the triangular number for 6 is 21. So these add up to at least 21. So the maximum this adds up to is 6. So the maximum value of this clue is 6. Which means this x sums clue can't be a th 3 anymore. Is this going to make this a 7? Oh, goodness me. Because if, if this is a... Ma well, the x sum clue associated with this this cell here is one, two, three, four, five, or six. So I don't think this digit can be three because it, although I can make three with three, two, one, this cell would then have no fill. So this has to be one or two. And now I've got a one, two, three triple in the box, the three of which is in this domino. So that's no longer a three. That's gonna put more downward pressure on this arrow because now, now the maximum sum of these cells is 26. And this is at least 21, so that's now come down again. The maximum sum of this is 5 now. But if this is a 1, 2, 3 triple, that seems to suggest this is a 7. And if that's a 7, these squares... Ah, oh, is this... No, it's not. It's those two squares, isn't it? Those two squares... Well, if hang on. If those two squares add up to 7... And these three squares add up to eight. That's a one. There we go. There's a tiny deduction. Uh, that can't be a two because I can't make this a five. Yeah, that seems to be right, doesn't it? So this is either three, four or two, five. This is a seven. Um, this is, I'm sure this is very powerful. I just need to spot something about how this works now. This is one, two, three. So these squares are five, eight, nine. So that feels quite tricky, doesn't it? Because that eight or nine here is definitely not minimal. Golly, this is going to get very confusing though. Um, I'm just going to think about this. If that cell is 9, then the minimum sum of these digits would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, which is 25. Twenty-five. And the minimum sum of this would be 1. I'm just pausing there to see whether or not that's possible. <laughs> I think it is possible, but I just want to think about it. This is 1, and it's 26. Uh, it do that doesn't work. It very nearly works, but it doesn't work, I don't think. But, and that's because actually these two digits are the same number, aren't they? That's probably worth recording. Um, let me just, how am I going to do that? Um, black? No. Oh, I shall, I'll use letters. These two digits are the same. So if I did make this a 1, so, so what, we're, what we're investigating is can this be a 9? If this is a 9, the minimum sum of this is 25. So if I make this a 1, and this a 1, then this is summing to 26, which means this needs to sum to 26, but there's a 1 here now because I've made this a 1, and that can't add to 26 because 7 and 8 and 9 only add up to 24, and 24 add 1 is 25, so that is not 9. That is complicated. I think there's probably a quicker way of seeing that, and I think unfortunately that is going to allow this to be an 8. Because if this is 8, I'm going to think about this quite carefully because it is complicated. But if this is 8, 
then the minimum sum of this I think transforms itself into 24 6 8 and a 1 2 3 4 quadruple 24 But this could be a 1 if that's a 1. That gives us 25. I mean, if this is 8, it's forcing 7, 8, 9 here. Whether this is 1 or 2. This is sort of common to both sums, isn't it? So it's, if this is 8, we absolutely have to put 7, 8, 9 onto this. Or onto onto, the, onto the, the, the blue line. This would have to be a 7, 8, 9 triple. Um, these three cells. Oh, that's beautiful. Doesn't work. Right. Right. This is complicated. Th this cell is the one we have to focus on. Because for this to be a 7, 8, 9 triple, that has to be a 7, 8 or a 9. It can't be actually 7 or 9 now. And if this was 8, it couldn't be 8. So this can't be 8 because it forces this to be a 7, 8 or a 9. And it can't be. And that's huge. That is huge. Because now... Now I've lost my train of thought. Why did I think this was going to be important? I had a thought about this. I know I did. Why did I think that? I've lost I've lost my train of thought that's so annoying I don't know uh, I'm sure it is important somehow three okay maybe it's three in this column this wasn't the thought I had I thought if I proved that to be a five I was going to be really really it was going to be really intelligent three is in one of those two cells in box six I have a lot of difficulty believing it can be on the line. Um, but that might be wrong. That's two. That's two by Sudoku. That's then adding these two, so that gets a bit higher. I don't know. Now, now, now my brain's going around in circles. I'm sorry. Let me just check my phone. Hopefully, it's all right. Oh, no, it's not all right. All right. Okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pause this video in a couple of minutes. But I, I don't want to pause now when I'm stuck. I want to get something before. I, before. So I've got something to come back to. I can keep keep my momentum going. Um, five. Um, if this was three, then the maximum sum of this line then would be a two here and an eight, nine pair, which would give us 22. But that doesn't work, does it? Because if we did do that and went for a 22 line here, that means these two clues have to add to 22. This is adding up to at least 21. And this has to be a 2. Because I've made that a 2 in order to achieve my 22 total. And therefore, I can't, I can't make this overall, this add up to 22. Because once this is 2 at least, um, I've got to add that digit in to this number. And if I go any lower than that, if, I, if, if this is 3 and I use 1 here instead, then the minimum sum, or the, sorry, the maximum sum of this is 21. But that's, this is going to be 21 on its own. So that would have to be a 0, which it can't be. So this cannot be 3. This is 3. That's not going to do anything, is it? I know it's not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so although I got something there, that's not that's not where I want to leave the puzzle. Six, eight, nine. 
Um, yeah, I'm getting shouted now. I'm going. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to pause. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit. Right, I'm back. Story read. Um, and um, yeah, very good. It is too. The Butterfly Lion by Math Michael Moore Pergo. Um, well worth reading. Uh, let's go and have a look. What's I doing here? I was looking at six, eight, and nine in these cells why was i looking at those i probably was just filling in this column was i um and we were trying to balance up i remember we were trying to balance up the orange clues with this line and let's just let's just revisit the maths i'm uh, sorry if, if this is all obvious to you that we know this is a minimum of 21 and that's at least a one so it's 22 is the minimum sum of orange. So these digits add up to 22. But if that's, if that's a one, that becomes a one. And then these would have to add up to 21, wouldn't they? If that's a two, that's at least a one and then this is at least a three and this is at least 21 because of the six so that would give us 24 and that would mean these had to add up to 22 because this would be a two here so what so the minimum sum of these cell the absolute minimum is 21 oh goodness me sorry um i've just noticed something that's completely and utterly asinine um one is in one of those two cells well it's definitely not here because the the the, the digits that, that are not this one on this line have to be massive um well certainly contribute towards a 21 total we just said in three digits so this is a one right and if this is a one this is a two three pair this is a one this is now an x sum of one um which is perhaps the most surprising total um and this means uh, so this is still so this is basically 21 at least and it is got to be these digits but this could be more than 21 that digit has to be at least a seven at least uh, that digit has to be at least a seven by sudoku because it because we're adding to a 21 total in uh three cells this has to be at least a four, but it can't be four, can't be five, can't be six. So it's got to be at least seven. So we've almost got something going on here. Oh, that can't be nine. Two in the box has to be on one of those two cells. I haven't really thought about this line for a while, have we? So do we know, can this be a two? Is that difficult or not? If that's a two... What are we actually saying if that's a two? We're saying this is a one, two pair. This is a two. Two is up here in box five, so two is here. So this is a one, two pair. This is a three then, so that's a four. Lots of things would happen as a result of that. <laughs> but don't know if any of them are useful. And I haven't thought about the mathematics of this line. What's going on on this line? So we know that those two squares add up to these two squares, don't we? But we know these two squares add up to those two squares. So actually, if this was a two... This would have to, this certainly couldn't be a five because this is adding up to at least nine. So this is a two, this has to be seven or eight. Sort of, oh no, hang on. Is that going to impinge upon my ability to make 21? No, maybe, maybe it's not actually. I don't think so. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. It certainly put quite a lot of pressure on this line if this is a two. But I don't unfortunately think that pressure is quite terminal enough. 
How, how could we think about this a bit more clearly? If, if this is a two, this is either seven or eight. If this is eight, these are adding up to 10. So this has to be a seven. So this would be eight, seven. Which would mean these two have to add up to, uh, hang on, what are we saying? If this is eight, two, yeah, this is seven. These are adding up to seven. So this would come down to being five or six. So we'd have five, six. I think this would be a nine, which is very, 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 very plausible, isn't it? Even likely, I would say. No, I don't think this is quite how we're going to. I don't think this is quite how we're meant to do this. I think we've got to have another intelligent thought along a different, a different line. How are we going to have that? We could do. be quite useful to know what this digit was wouldn't it because that would give me this digit or is it something else is it just something completely different is it some other is it some other form of equation i've got to i've got to deduce from this cacophony of nonsense that we've got given in the grid. I've no idea how we're ever going to use this line over here. Um, this line I think is done. This line I think is done. This line is nearly done. This line's done. Nothing, nothing doing there. This, this feels like the line where the magic is happening, doesn't it? Because we do now know there is a quality between this, if we get rid of the orange there, this cell is the same number as those three digits. That is true. Because these two have to add up to all of those and we've got common ones on the line. We could actually get rid of the blue there and get rid of the gray. Um, so this digit is the same as these three. Is there some reason eight? Oh, I suppose eight in this row has to be over there. Is that useful? Is there a reason this can't be a one, two, three, four quadruple? One in this quadruple would have to be here. I'm absolutely sure there is a one. Yeah, that's interesting. There, there is definitely a one, isn't there? In this quadruple, sorry, sextuplet, if there was no one, then the minimum sum would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is 27. And then we couldn't make these add up to enough. So the one in this sextuplet is here, which means there's a one now in, ah, which means there's a one now in box one in this domino, which means there's a one in one of those three squares, which is in, in the total for the weird box seven line. Because in, the way to think about that is where does the one go in column one? You can see it's got to be down here. And this has one in it. Does that matter? I don't think it does. I mean, we know it's not going to accompany. No, and it really doesn't actually, does it? Because although, no, it just doesn't matter. These could still be very low digits because we're adding all five of those digits up. Yeah, we, we don't learn anything from that, I'm afraid. Or at least I don't think we do. Uh, what about... Um, uh, what about something else? What about something else? I do not have a clue where I'm meant to look here. Is there, wow, I really am perplexed by this. Could it be, I have no idea. I've no idea where the weak point is. That's, that's really disconcerting. This was eight one. 
this would be 9. 8, 1, this would be 9, this would be 6. So this would be 6, 8, 9. This would be 5, 7. And there must be some... There must be some sort of restriction I'm meant to be working on. But I don't know. I really haven't got a clue what it is. 2, 3, 5. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is there some sort of Sudoku restriction I'm not getting in one of these... In one of these rows or boxes? 5, 8... Uh, oh yeah, there's a small point I hadn't seen. Eight's got to be in one of those three digits. So eight's got to be in one of these three digits. Um, is that good enough? I don't think so. Can that be five now? Is that a point, to, a point that's worth considering? If this is 5, I know these have to add up to at least 21. I don't know, so I see how they would actually have to add then. They'd then have to add up to 22. It would have to be 5, 8, 9. Aha! Well, that's, well there's a tiny point there that I've just noticed. That doesn't work. Um, because if you do make this 5, because you've got to, we've got to get to at least 21. And this would have to then be 8. And this would then have to be 9. We'd get to 22, but I can't make that those three digit or those six digits add up to 22, because one of them is a six, and the only way of making 22 in six different cells is one, two, three, four, five, seven. So that's a that's an obscurity, but we'll take it. So that's that is now not able to be. Well, actually, maybe I can extrapolate from this. So in fact, these digits here. They don't, they simply cannot add up to 22. Now, does that mean something interesting or not? I feel like it might do, but I, I can't really see how to immediately make use of it, if I'm honest. If that's six, this would be, this would undeniably be eight. So I'd then be at a 14 total. But that could be nine or seven. So that seems to be fine, doesn't it? I'm just wondering if there's some other combination of digits here that I can force a 22 total with. That would be quite useful. Um, yeah, I mean, locking five out of this, this cell is really, really not done as much as I hoped. What could it be? Um... I don't know. It could be. I still feel like it's difficult for that cell to be a two. And maybe that's that. Maybe that's now worth thinking about. Now I know the orange cells can't add up to twenty-two. If that's two, I know. I know. I'm. I'm sucking in a high digit into this square, don't I? because I need these to add up to at least nine. So this square is now seven or eight, which means six would definitely be, so we'd actually have um, those squares. This would, this would have to be a five. Oh, maybe I hadn't seen that either. That's quite interesting. If that's a five, does that break anything? don't know. Um, I know it makes this square a 3 and this a 4. That 
That's a three. Do we learn anything new? Don't think so. So this is two, this is seven or eight. There's definitely a six on the line. And we can't go to 22, so we can't have seven and nine accompanying the six. But we know that seven or eight would be in this position. So if eight was in this position, well, no, that couldn't work. This would have to be seven. But the reason it couldn't work with eight, let me just show you that. If this is because because this would because if this is two, this becomes high, and this becomes a quadruple. If that's six, these squares are six, seven, and nine. They do add up to twenty-two, which is the deadly number we can't have them adding up to. So that would definitely be seven, actually, which is potentially is that doing anything useful? And if this is 7, these add up to 23. How do we do that with a 6 in the total? Is that easy to do? The, the obvious way to do it... Um, 23. Why can't I immediately see that either? 21 is the minimum, which I could do, but now I need to go for 23, which means I need to increase that minimum by 2. So one way to have done that would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, but that's obviously not going to work because we've got a 6 in there. So we've got 6 and 5 on the line, for sure, and then 4 digits that have to add up to 12 without using 6 and 5. We can't do it. That's so weird. That's mad. That's very, very complicated, um, and I'm not even sure I trust it, so I'm, I'm going to do it again in my brain. So let's think about this. We're saying if this is 2, this cannot be 8. That was very clear to me. I'm happy with that deduction. If, if this is 7, which is the only other thing it could be, that would then be an, uh, that we'd have 9 here. So this has to be 6 which we didn't use in, in the deduction before. I'm just trying to see if that's going to make anything clearer. See, the orange squares are going to be 6, 8, 9, which add up to 23. So I need to make this section of digits add up to 23. But these two already add up to 11. So these four have to add up to 12 without using 5 or 6. And you can't make four different numbers in Sudoku add up to 12 if you can't use 5 and 6. Because there are only two ways of making 12. 1, 2, 3, 6 and 1, 2, 4, 5. So that just doesn't work. Which is weird. It's absolutely bizarre. But I think it's right. That's so strange to me. That is so strange to me. Um, right, so now, right, what do we actually get from this though? We, we get no two on the line. So we get a two here. Now if we get a two here, that's, that is doing something. It's getting rid of twos here. So this becomes one, three, that becomes five, that becomes two, that becomes four by Sudoku. We do get some digits, which is rather wonderful. We get a two down here. A one three pair here ah didn't we know something yes we did if i remember rightly we said those three digits have to equal that one well those add up to eight so that becomes an eight these are no longer eight this is no longer eight this is no longer five because there's a five in the box so this is six or seven this is no longer five so we've got six seven eight triple in the row and in this, these squares are three, six, and seven. Ah, <laughs> we don't know how that works. Um, I've got to take, hang on, hang on. So I do get, I do get a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple here as well, actually. Look at this. And is that, is that, am I comfortable that's correct? I think that is correct because 
we work, we've, we've worked out on these before, and now this digit's become forced by Sudoku in the row. And that means five in the box has to go here. And that does, what does that do? Well, one thing we've got, we've got to be wary of still is that this digit, we can't pick a digit here that makes these add up to 22 because that still won't work. So we can't make this an eight because that would make this um, six, seven, and nine. Now that gives me a six, seven pair in the row, which makes this an eight of all things. How weird. Now that means I've got an eight, nine pair at the top of the grid. I've got a six here. I've got a five here out of nowhere, which means this is eight by mathematics. I've now got this digit down to six, seven, or eight. Um, Okay, there's probably more we can do here, actually. Let me just think about this for a second or two. Six and eight see that digit, so that's a seven. That means this is six, this is huge. So this, this is nine, this is seven. Now, we, now we're gonna be able to do work. That's eight, these add up, oh, it's worked. I don't know how, but it's worked. They add up to 11 and they add up to 11, which is what we would expect, but it's sort of fallen out of whatever else we've been doing, which does make me think that there was a, a cleaner way of getting this deduction. Um, this square's not nine anymore. Oh, the, look, these two squares added together by my my arrow from earlier. Well, that can't be three now because I can't write 10 in there. So that's one, that's eight, that's three. These two squares are something and something. Nine and some, nine and six, is it? I think, oh, six is useful. So six goes here, nine goes here. And these two squares are two and seven, which is rather lovely. This means these squares don't include seven. So these are three and six. Eight comes out of the options for these two cells. And in a minute, we're probably gonna to have to worry about this thing, aren't we? Which is gonna be terrifying. Um, this eight was the sum of those two digits. So we get a one here and a two here. So we are we are slowly but surely whittling away, whittling things away. And we're going to know something about this, which we didn't know before, because now we've got 24. So this is a 24 clue. I don't know if I can do that. Actually, I might be able to do it. Will that work? Yes. That is 24 clue, look. So we can write 24. So these add up to 24. There is a secret that allows us to know. Oh, actually, I'm going to tell you the secret, to be honest. I think I've got to, don't I? Now, the secret is something I only tell my favorite people, but if you're watching this video, you're definitely one of my favorite people. The secret is, of course, that any complete Sudoku row, Sudoku column, or three by three box contains the digits one to nine once each, and therefore sums to 45. So if I know those add up to 24, these add up to 21, and they include an eight, that means the other digits add up to 13, but they're not six, seven, and they're not five, eight, so they must be four, nine, and that's a four, eight, nine triple, which has come out of nowhere. And does it do anything? The answer to that is, I don't know yet, maybe. Uh, hang on, four comes out of here, nine comes out of here, eight comes out of here. We get a four, eight, nine triple, um seven has to be up here now so that's that's great oh i see one and seven are fixed i didn't spot this but that's fine these two squares are a two five pair and this is a four eight nine triple so these squares have got to be five and uh two and five which we can do so five goes in the corner that goes that becomes a two that's a two that's a three now so these squares have got to be four and nine, which is somehow not resolved, but never mind. And these squares have got to be other things. These squares have got to be one, three. Ah, oh, I don't want Ws. One, three, and seven. And this square is not one, and that square is not seven. I'm sure this is resolved somehow, isn't it? Three, four, seven, nine. That's ridiculous. I'm actually going to put the options in there. Three, four, seven, and nine, in case it helps me with this one. It would be useful to get this digit, wouldn't it? Um, come on, come on. I think we made we just we just made a bit of a breakthrough there. 
which I'm delighted about. This line now looks interesting because the minimum sum of those two digits is now 2 plus 4, which is 6. So this is at least a 6 and it can't be 7 or 8. So that's 6 or 9. Um, if it's 6, it's not 1, 5. It's 2, 4, which it can't. No, it can. Ah, maybe. Maybe it can be 2, 4. What about if it's 9? It's not 1, 8, 2, 7, or 3, 6. So it's 4, 5. Which means there'll be a 5 there. And So isn't this always a 4? Or is that wrong? Let me just think about that. This is 9, it can't be 1, 8, can't be 2, 7, can't be 3, 6. So it is 4, 5. 5 goes there, this is always 4. That means this is 9, this is 8, this is 4. And now maybe we can get something in this column. We need 3 and 6. Yes, 6 and 3 go into the grid. This is not 3. Is that helpful? Please, please be helpful. Please do something clever. Um, I mean, one thing I can see is that this digit now, I know the value of it from an X sum perspective because this three is the sum of those digits, which is 13. So that is a 13 clue. Whoops, I wrote 12 in. That's a 13 clue. It's going to be something horrible on this line, isn't it? I know it is. I, I'm just going to check this row, I think. Two, two, five, six, nine. So this square is two, five, or six. And this square is two or nine. How could it be nine? It can't be nine by the X sum. If this is nine, this is a 45. It's adding up the whole row. And, and yet it's simultaneously... If that's 45 and that's, well, we know that's 13, that's implying those digits add up to an enormous number like 58, and that's too big. Uh, these maximum these could add up to would be 30. So that is, two, that's lovely. So that's a two, that's two, seven. That's now five, which means this is nine, which means these squares are not nine. This is nine, this is four. That's going to be huge, isn't it? Now this is six, this is six, this is three. Come on, please, 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 please. Now give up, now give up puzzle. You have been magnificent and interesting in ways we couldn't have expected, but now is the time for you to allow me to have my dinner. Um, this is a seven, eight pair. That's eight by Sudoku. And that's seven. So this isn't seven. Is this helpful? <laughs> I don't know. It might be. Um, we know this X sum clue now. That's just adding up two digits to seven. So these two digits are adding up to 20. And that should be the total of those. And is is it is. 8, 9, 1 and 2 do add up to 20. So somehow this line has worked itself out. Um, all right. So what do we do next? Oh, we probably have to think about this one, do we? It's going to be this digit. That's going to be the key. 1, 2, 3 or 5. No, 1 or, oh, one or 2 only. Well, how could it be? How could it be 1? It can't be a 1 here, because that would be, if this is a 1, it's saying this X sum is a 1, and then these would have to add up to 1, so it must be 2. That's going to do it. So now it's adding up to 11, so this is an 11 clue, which I have very, oh, I can actually show it like that. That's an 11 clue, so th this is a 4 or a 7, so this is 4 or 7, it can't be 4. So this is 7, this is 4, this is 4, this is 9, this is 9, this is 1, this is 3, this is 7, 1, 3, 2, 5, and we, should, we need a one in one of these and the other square is going to be a five and that's it what a puzzle now i've not put in the x sums and that's remiss of me so i want to do that i want to put in this square is uh, any oh that's another 11. <laughs> okay that's an 11. this is a one that's fine that's a 24 isn't it summing these this clue this clue is an enormous clue 
Um, I'm actually going to do this by the secret. I'm going to deduct 15 is 30, isn't it? That's a 30 clue. 3, and then we put 0 here. I don't know if the answer checker... I don't, how's the answer checker going to check what I've got outside the grid? It, it, or it's possible that I haven't got the answer checker. It's not available, and it's just going to check the Sudoku. We'll have to see. Um, this is a 10 clue. So that's... Oh, I we can do that like this, I think. Um, now, what's this clue? This is the x sum equal to 16, so that's a 16 clue. And this is an x sum equal to, now it's, this, it's a dreaded 11 again. So that, this is 27. And let's check we got 27 on the line. We got, oh no we didn't. No we did, 27, it does add up for a moment. I didn't think it did. And then this clue is 15 by the looks of it. And let's check. That does look right. 15, 1, 5 might work. So that's the puzzle, is it? Let's see. Yes. Wow, not... Wow, very few solvers, actually. 17 people have solved that in 16 days. So basically, one person a day has solved that since it came out. I'm not that surprised, actually. That was very tricky indeed. Especially, I couldn't see... I couldn't see how to efficient... Well, I could see in the end... But I, th I suspect I've missed a way of visualising this domino's effect on this box cleanly. I mean, I found a logical way through it, but it was not easy. Um, and it was incredibly clever, this. It's a completely new rule. Well, it's old rules combined in a completely new way. And Doom, Doom Jot needs to take a, a, a bow because that was very, very clever. Highly original and very challenging. I would give it 100%. Let me know in the comments how you get got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.